this place. I don't get to do <laughs> a lot of missions with Dutch. Now. It's kind of exciting. I guess. Yeah. Because you know it's a big, big boy thing when yeah. Dutch is involved. Yeah. Get to go on a job with Daddy. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Oh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Guess we're going off. Run along now, boy. Well, I'm not really worried about those these two here. If I'm if I'm gonna meta game for just so a moment. About? Relax. I got this. This is who has Don't Jack, worry, right? Boys. We come in peace. We just need Correct. to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Alright, pick up the face, Arthur. <laughs> We caught him in his gym jam. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there is going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone. Dutch is doing and you his have thing. Took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. <laughs> we was innocent bystanders, and that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. Where is the woman? Angelo Bronte. Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Ah. Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a <gasps> fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> oh, shit. I think he's hitting on you, Dutch. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Honestly, power couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my little horse. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love you, Ari. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. 
Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. This is true. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll it, be fine. It's kind of sweet that I he's figure. worried about him. The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack. I feel like he was kind of a dick about him All earlier on in the cost. game. Yeah. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. Either. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. This is one of those sequences that if. I could consider this a spoiler. This way. Knowing that I was going to end up in this area was definitely something I saw in like in 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 the briefest clips in a video, and I've been excited to come here for a while now. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what's inside or what what we're doing, Don't but back out on me now, Arthur. But I'm excited to be here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Who is coughing up a storm? It's the disease! It's the plague! <laughs> the Indian Turk conspiracy theory. The same affliction that has Hosea! <laughs> hey, John. Over here. You boys found my pappy's watching! I know. I always <laughs> forget. I like my way. <laughs> but I yes, hear that you. is definitely more you effective. You do you. We sure picked the right night for it. Let's stay on him. Come on. Can't pop it outside my bitch. What? Someone I know. Nope. Oh, really? That was fast. Let's go. Yeah, uh, he killed it. Well, them, but yeah. <laughs> now let's find the stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Think there might be something in here. Oh, Got it. I hear it now. Now let's get out of here. Did you know they were coming, or did you? Oh, I mean. Shit. It's the I know you've played this mission before, but it's been a yeah, while. I just heard like, You did, yeah. I forgot about. Locked. Yeah, I, it's been a while since I've played to this. To go this way. That's actually a very good move. As long as John gets through there as well, I think, which he should do just fine. I think he he tends to be on the sneakier side, so maybe splitting up was the move. I don't know. Does it let you proceed? There's a dude coming. Oh yeah, they're gonna make it hard for you, but they're, they're at least gonna try to throw you a curveball. Oh, he turned. There's a, another. Yeah, dude. I guess you can. You probably can. Uh, yeah, you can probably sneak without John. Fuck out of here! Yeah, just run. Hopefully yep. he despawns. <laughs> Get out of the road! <laughs> oh God, what did you say about nighttime in swamps? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. 
<laughs> you got bigger issues. <laughs> Priorities, right, of course. Yeah. Oops! Whoa! Oh, what? Whoa! Oh, that's John. Holy shit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Bad cowboy point. Nice. Good stuff. That's exactly what you needed. A nice little diversion to buy you some time and and you're out of there. Oh my gosh. Okay, just watch out for roving patrols up ahead on your radar and you should be fine. We may need to pay a bounty for like four hundred dollars, but <laughs> that's okay. Okay, hang well, on. Whew. It's lucky I ain't a religion. <laughs> Man, let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? Back to he Dutch? He not be playing games with us. In town? He almost certainly is. Yeah. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. As How's long as you don't get too close to cops, asked. you should be fine. I've got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? It's kind of remarkable how little time we spent away from town and now we're just riding back in like nothing happened <laughs> yeah a little concerning <sighs> all right john we just gotta get to the house and stay away from the law must have been the wind that's right <laughs> i'm sure this is fine i'm sure that everything will be fine well you took your time. Jack, where's your host? <gasps> like I said, Jack. you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, hell yeah. Friend. That was a good fade, hey, like bringing him out like that, because. For right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Because, like, you know, you maybe know we're going to come back with Mr. the job Bronte done. Mr. has invited us to right. a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. That sounds like a fun sequence. <laughs> oh, okay, but we look kind of great, though. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. I can't wait for Jack to tell us about all his adventures. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. Yeah, Jack hasn't seen the camp yet. All right. Oh, he has Let's not. Get this boy back to his mother. Oh, so Abigail's okay, gonna be so relieved. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said he'd come for me. Um, yeah, you know what it means I'm now that Jack's back. Mm. What for? For that. For taking so long. Wait. What does it mean? <laughs> I had my own room with a big bed. Need to get back to camp. Box. Might have to have some festivities. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. We haven't What's had a that? party since it's John. Fruit. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Aww. He sounds like he was blood. taken care of. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. <laughs> Dutch Arthur. Yeah, he has spaghetti for the first time. That's sweet. Yeah, spaghetti. Yo, spaghetti is sick. For the first time, Jack? It's amazing. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. It's bedtime. Well. <laughs> We met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. There you go. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> go be with your family. Aww. Oh. Oh, come on. 
They don't know how to talk to each other. They're uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, famously don't know how to talk to each other. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck let's yeah. go. <laughs> Aww. Hang on, I need a drink. Oh, the party nights are really, really cute. Yeah. That's, that's such a nice touch. I do love it. Is this John? Who's this? I'm looking at the people who are on the outskirts. Karen, Molly, the Rev, Sadie, yeah. The people who are not around the campfire. Does say a lot about their characters. Yeah. Got Charles and Bill over here. <laughs> Micah. <laughs> He's like, why does this have to be next to my bed? <laughs> I'm literally just trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm so glad I made it here just in time for the end of the song. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright! Alright, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later! Good to have you back, Jackie! Have a good night, Jackie. Yeah, these are my favorite. Thanks, Mama. I wonder what she's up to tonight. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. He really wants to go to Tahiti. Yeah, he does. Eat <laughs> tell you boys about the time I was hanged. What? Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Yeah. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Oh, my God. Well, was you scared? It's like a movie. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> petrified. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. <laughs> Aw. Well, I'm glad you're here, Jose. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home, little Jack. Oh, once I was a maid down in Main Lane. My Why do I know that song? The one that Javier sings? Yeah. Oh, this one's. The song's everywhere. Oh, they're hanging out. Yo. Stick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. <laughs> Singing, Home Boys Home, it's where I want to be. Home Boys Home with the girl and I. You know, boys. I like That's interesting. Yeah. I thought they hated each other. I think they. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe Susan's tough on her because she sees herself in her. Yeah. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh wow! Okay. There he is, old Arthur. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! The strong, silent, manly one of us. <sighs> You're drunk. 
this ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. <laughs> well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. We have a plan. Not the loons. Oh, is that what that is? We've talked about this before. How do you not know? No, 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 no. I, we've talked about this before. <laughs> oh. There's no way you don't know what loons sound like. We were talking about elk before. You don't know what any wildlife sounds like, Taylor. I guess nobody ever said, that's a loon. That's an elk. <gasps> oh, wow. Didn't it storm the last time we had a party, too? <laughs> I don't know. It is kind of an interesting backdrop to Dutch's rousing speech. I should probably go yeah. tune in. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah! That's right, Dutch. You tell him. Wow. Sometimes I rob a bank on Main Street. You can't blame me for wanting to eat, but show me a man that sleeps more than found and big old lungs lying out on the ground. Yeah, the newspapers call for our gang's demise. Says we're no good thieves that you should despise. A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones, fortune favors those who look out for their own. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking about loons. <laughs> That's right. Minnesota State Bird. Yeah. You know, the problem Love the you common loon. Stuff. I see them a lot up north. If you go to like any body of water that isn't constantly buzzing with people, <laughs> that is a freshwater body in North America. Like, not North America. Yeah, North America. I'd say North America. Because they're definitely a lot in Canada. Whoa. Whoa. And piloted in the coming folks to help them safely through. But brothers, we are failing. Our race is almost run. The days of elk and buffalo and beaver traps are done. Oh, the days of elk and buffalo, it fills my heart with pain. To know those days are past and gone, to never come again. Days are over, the Indian yell resounds. No more long order. Mm. Be sent for sweeter sounds. But we found great joy on the hands to hear and make it die. Do we want to ride homes for gentle ones? And now our west. Goodbye. Look at the end there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was really unsettling at the end there. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a beautiful moment. <laughs> that's a really beautiful moment. Pearson gives like the big white eyes. <laughs> what are you what are you looking at? What are you looking at? <laughs> that look said like, you wanna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like he's trying to put a move on Arthur there. <laughs> it was like what a nice moment we just had. <laughs> Looks. <laughs> oh, finally.